YouTube is the largest video sharing site on the internet. In the modern world, videos can be watched on PCs, laptops, mobile devices, and even watches. However, think back 10 years ago to January of 2005, and you may start to realize just how fast technology is advancing. YouTube will not exist for another month. The first iPhone was still two years away. LCD TVs were still incredibly expensive. And for $189 in 2005, you could buy one gigabyte of RAM. Streaming services were non-existent. Facebook was still starting up. And Windows XP was a standard Microsoft operating system. That was just 10 years ago. Add just one more zero, and suddenly the Wright brothers are completing their first flight, and the first Ford Model T was still three years away. Add another zero, and the world is now a very primitive place, with no electricity and a very small grasp of modern science. Add one more zero, and suddenly civilization as we know it ceases to exist. Technological progress is speeding up. The next 10 years will produce a new world, which makes the modern world look outdated and slow by comparison. This progress is happening faster and faster, and it is predicted that in this century we will make 1,000 times the progress in technology compared to the last century. These facts are largely unchallenged. The big question is, where are we headed? We now arrive at the problem of the singularity. Two big questions to answer are, will it happen and will it be beneficial to mankind? So let us start with a more basic question. What is the singularity? To put it simply, the singularity is the moment where an intelligence smarter than any human on the planet is created, and when that intelligence begins to make smarter versions of itself at an ever-increasing rate. Such intelligence could quickly become smarter than every human on the planet combined, and this would make it the dominant force on the planet. Much in the same way, humans became dominant, not through brute strength, but through their technology and their intelligence. It should be noted that while a lot of representations of the singularity depict an exponential rise in the rate of advancement, it is still not infinite. At some point after the creation of a superintelligence, a level off would have to occur. When that would actually happen is a complete mystery. The main point is that the advancement in technological progress would be beyond human comprehension. The reason for this is because a smarter than human intelligence would be exactly that. With the power of a supercomputer with petabytes, exabytes or zettabytes of memory and processing speeds much faster than a human, it could perform a month's worth of thinking in a second. Multitasking would be trivial and a global system of cameras would allow sensory capabilities vastly better than a human's. With superhuman capabilities at a superintelligence's proverbial fingertips, it could potentially improve itself at a faster and faster rate. What form the singularity will occur in is still unknown. Some possibilities include a hive mind or a transhuman singularity, but most believe it will occur through AI. Artificial intelligence as it exists today is known as ANI, or Artificial Narrow Intelligence. This type of AI specializes in one task. For example, an AI specializing in chess would be useless at checkers. AGI is an Artificial General Intelligence. This is an AI that matches humans in almost all areas of the brain. This type of AI would be as capable as a human in thought. AGI does not currently exist, and while most AI research is directed towards ANI, we are getting closer to an AGI each year. There are multiple ways an AGI may be created. One of these methods involves simulating an entire human brain. Computers are currently not powerful enough to do this, but most predictions place it sometime after 2025 as a period in which such a simulation will be possible thanks to exponentially advancing technology. Finally, there is ASI, Artificial Super Intelligence. At this level, the AI is smarter than humans, and its capabilities are greater than humans. An ASI would be incomprehensible to humans, and if given access to the outside world, its actions would be unpredictable and unstoppable. The singularity could occur in two different ways, a soft takeoff or a hard takeoff. An ASI may find that to make smarter copies of itself becomes increasingly harder as it continues, and the process may take many months, years, or centuries. Other restraints may include hardware limitations or inbuilt safeguards to protect against an uncontrollable intelligence explosion. This is known as a soft takeoff. A hard takeoff may occur in milliseconds, in which the second we create an AGI, it quickly becomes an ASI within a matter of milliseconds or seconds. Such a scenario would make the combined intelligence of humans appear as that of ants to an ASI. Which takeoff scenario is most likely is still unknown. Whether a singularity will actually occur and what will happen to humanity when one of these is created is still unknown. 
When the singularity will occur, if ever, is not also not yet known. Some have placed it at 2045, while others have placed it to be within the next 100 years. Once a singularity is created, unless if we are prepared, there will be no retries. What we create is what will quickly begin to influence the world around us, in drastic ways we won't expect. The bright side to this, however, is that we get to make the first move. We have both time and research to consider what a superintelligence may want to do with us once it is created. So what will happen once a superintelligence is created? Will it be beneficial to humanity? Next time I'll explore friendly and unfriendly AI. Subscribe if you have not done so and thanks for watching.